Hey ladies and gentlemen, Wolf Cryer here and Blizzard has just announced the Season 9 end dates and Season 10 start dates. So this video is going to review that as well as go over some of the cooler things in my opinion that are coming in Season 10 as well as the free sets for your season journey. So, Season 9 will be ending on March 17th. If you're on the NA servers, that will be 5 p.m. Pacific and 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And Season 10 will begin two weeks later, this time a two-week break between the two seasons. Season 10 starts on Friday, March 31st, which is a lot earlier than I expected. I expected mid-April. I was thinking it was going to be another 12-week season. I'm kind of personally enjoying the shorter seasons. It puts more of a rush and keeps people playing the season for longer. And once you throw that expiration date on the season, people start pushing more. And it overall is a better experience with the shorter seasons. That is my personal opinion. You can leave a comment below if you think it should go back to 12 weeks. But I'm thinking 8 to 10 weeks is the perfect amount of time per season. Now, I don't know if Diablo 3 has the capability to continue those kind of updates and keep those seasons pretty short. But I would like to see that happen. So that is pretty exciting news. Guys, if you want to do that final push, I would get pushing today or this week because two weeks to go pretty much. All right, so now we're going to take a look at Season 10's rewards. Okay, for the sets, the Demon Hunter will be getting the Marauder set, which is pretty cool. Has a couple cool grenade builds with that being utilized in Season 9 and Season 10. If you are new to the grenade builds, they are pretty badass looking. I personally have not played one, but they look cool as shit. And for Barbarians, they get the Legacy of Raycor set, the Furious Charge set. Very good pushing build, as well as those pieces of the Raycor set that are used in the Support Barb build, which is also pretty cool. So if you're looking to run a Support Barb or the Furious Charge build for Barbarian, this season you get that set for free, pretty much. And for Wizards, they get Delsarae's Magnum Opus. That set has recently been buffed. For Season 10, it was one of the bigger buffs given to a set in the upcoming season. Enemies affected by your slow time now take 3,500% increased damage from your Arcane Orb, Energy Twister, Explosive Blast, Magic Missile, Shock Pulse, Spectral Blade, and Wave of Force abilities. Definitely cool buff there. Don't know how it's going to play out in season 10 but it got a really really big buff in this upcoming season now for witch doctors they get the zunimasa's haunt set which also got a pretty substantial buff enemies hit by your mana spenders take 2500 percent increased damage from your pets for eight seconds that was a very huge buff to this set so we'll have to see what type of builds can come out of that and hopefully this can be a leaderboard pushing set but i am still not sure because arakir's fire bats is still pretty op and for my favorite class the monk the monks get the in his mantra set as their free set for completing parts of the season journey in season 10 and they got buffed again you now get 125% increased damage for every mystic ally you have out. And when you have all 10 out, it gives you 1250%. This now means that in his EP and in his spirit generator builds are definitely viable for the leaderboards. I do not know and do not think that it will entirely erase R6 from the meta, but it gives us another option to push well into the 90s with a different set. Also, this is another set where 
Those set pieces can be used for your support build. The Z Monk uses four pieces of Innes and is a definite member of the four man meta because it is the best healer in the game. So this set is very, very useful. Whether you are pushing with it or not, Z Monks definitely can take you higher and build your Paragon up because you are invaluable to the group. And for Crusaders, they get the Armor of a Khan set. Don't know much about Crusaders, wish I did, but this is their free set for completing the Season Journeys in Season 10. And you also get this pretty kick-ass portrait frame. I definitely like the look of that. And this pennant for completing your Season Journey. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple other cool things that... I think are the best things coming in season number 10. Alright, so one of the best things coming in season 10 is the Armory. I did have set save, but they have since reset the PTR, so I do not have any currently. But you can save your sets, and just like that, boom, there it is, and I can switch between sets. Nice and easy, up to five sets per character. I'm definitely liking that for season number 10. It's about damn time, Blizzard. But thank you very much. Another great thing coming in season 10 are your crafting mats. And your bounty mats are now part of your currency tab, which you no longer need to carry all of the stuff over to your cube and put it all in because now there is also a fill button. So if I want to do the upgrade rare item, I can fill it and puts all of the match required except for the yellow rare item in and then you just hit transmute and it crafts it. No more wasting time dragging over all of those materials. So that is another cool thing. Those three things are in my opinion, the coolest thing about Season 10. I'll be able to have a Support Monk, a Innes Monk, a LTK Monk, an Ulianas Monk. I can do whatever I want because now I can switch back and forth and not be so selfish as I was in Season 9 by only running one build for the most part and screwing over my group and myself in the process. So those are some of the cool things coming in Season 10 to Diablo 3. I am looking forward to Season 10. I will be playing Season 10, especially on the start date. I plan on taking the next day off of work so that I can stay up, get to 70 that night, and start pushing Paragons and that type of thing with my group. It's going to be fun times. Make sure you check out my stream that night. It's going to be pretty awesome. So guys, in the comment section below, tell me what you think of such a short season as well as what you think of season 10 overall with all of its changes and what you are looking forward to the most. Thank you guys very much for checking out this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment below. Guys, thank you once again. Peace.